Okay, so with the same red as the scarf and the hat, which is called lipstick, I, we're going to make fingerless gloves and uh, for the scarf we took 37 stitches for that but I'm casting on 45 for the gloves. So at the beginning you're going to cast on your stitches and you're going to make ribbing so that means one row of knit and pearl which is knit and pearl knit and pearl and you go like that the whole row and then the next row you're going to start with a pearl so this is knit and pearl you're going to end with a knit and I'll come back on the second row okay I'm finishing my first row here we are and we finish with a knit, we turn, and row number two of the ribbing is pearl, knit, pearl, knit, and you end with a pearl. So now you're going to be doing these, uh, row number one and number two, six times. That means you're going to have 12 rows in total for the ribbing. And I'll see you when I end this row. So that means you're going to cast on your uh, 45 stitches. And then you're going to knit your 12 rows, which is those two that I told you six times. And then we're going to start with row number one of, of this stitch. So the pebbles. So of course that means we're going to end up doing row number one again because that's what number one of the pebbles is. So knit and purl and I will see you at the end of this row. Okay, so I finished the first row of the pebble stitch of the double seat skip stitch and so that means I knit pro knit pro the same as number one of the ribbing so I am going to put a pin there to signal that this is the side in which I change my stitch on only knit and pro without skipping so this I'm going to consider it my right side so row number two, if you remember, let's do it again. You're going to knit two and then put your yarn to the front and pass the next one as if to purl. Then knit the next one and pass the next one as if to purl. Knit and pass. Knit and pass knit and pass so let's do this whole row knit and pass this is a very nice very nice look so knit and pass knit and pass okay do that for the whole row it looks very pretty and I'm just going to make the simple simple uh, fingerless gloves you can make the thumb if you wish and we have gloves with instructions on how to do that but this time we're going to just make the hole for the thumb Pass, knit, pass, knit, and the last three are pass, and knit the last two. Okay, so row number three, you are going to purl. Okay. 
purl and knit, purl and knit. This is row number three. Purl and knit. This is always going to be my right side. So that means that we are knitting the purls and purling the knits. Which is the same as the double seat stitch. It's just that rows number two and four, that is when we skip the purls. Okay, so I'm going to do this a whole row and I'll see you at the end of it. Because this is just plain ribbing, knit and purl. Okay, I'm going to finish row number three with a knit and a purl. Okay, row number four, I am going to knit one, bring your yarn to the front and pass the purl. Knit and pass as if to purl, knit and pass as if to purl, knit and pass as if to purl, and you do that the whole row. And this is, these are very nice gloves. And with this yarn being so warm, is, and this yarn is so soft, so it's going to be nice for my hands. Neat. I guess everybody is going to want them. Oops. Okay. Attention. Skip. Knit and skip. Let's see if I skipped all the pearls. Yeah. And knit and skip. knit and skip and so you repeat these four rows until you have the height that you want and I don't know how high I'm going to want it but I will come back and, and tell you so knit and skip and knit the last one so here I have my four rows of the of the double seed skipped stitch or pebbles, whatever you want to call it. And this is the way it's going to be. You're going to have it on your hand like this. And I'm going to continue knitting with that stitch until I'm about there. And so it's just plain, you're not going to do anything, just keep on knitting and until you get to there. And I will come back. Okay, I finished my glove and I have in total height 7.5 inches, which is 2 inches for the ribbing at the beginning and 5.5 for the stitch itself. So... I finished, you can finish on a row number two or four, whatever you wish. And so I finished in a four, but it really doesn't matter, really, whatever. Now you see what comes here, you can see the knits and the pearls. You can see them, and that's what you're going to be doing as you bind off. So I, here I have a pearl, and then a knit and bind off very softly because you don't want it to be tight around your hand so purl and bind off and knit and bind off now purl bind off knit Bind off, purl, and now see you when I finish binding off all my stitches. Okay, I noticed that you, my camera was not very well centered, so I'm coming back and showing you again 
on the seam so from knot to knot and from knot to knot is it centered yet? Yeah, you can see it better now from here to there and from here to there and like that you can see how it comes out nicely and so like that you have see you have half of one stitch on one side and half of the other stitch on the other side and when they come together it forms a whole one so now we go from here and we start on this section of the stitch itself which is right there okay see how that nice nicely looks so there and now we're going to go up high and we're going to so until we have about two inches left as you can see me now okay there we go from knot to knot and you want it nice and, and sturdy you want it you want to tighten that not too much because you don't want to frown it so there we go let's see how much we need to leave for the thumb from here to there and from here to there let's see how much we need to go okay we're almost there I think it's I think we're we're too high so let me get to off. Let's see how this feels. It feels a little bit tight so take one off. So let's see which one it is. That one. Okay, that feels good. And that's the way it's supposed to look. See how nice. Okay, so that's enough and then I'm going to take my yarn you turn it you put your yarn through that stitch on the other side let's see which one it is okay on this side turn your glove toward the inside and you're going to pick up a strand from one side a strand from the other and we're going to make a knot there the same as what we did on when we did the from the top to the to the middle and we make a knot real tight in there and now you can weave in that yarn we can weave it in there there we go and we're done with the glove of course you need to make the other hand because you have you need two so this is the way it looks look how pretty that is it's nice and soft at the top it doesn't bind your hand you can move your fingers nicely these are very nice gloves to have when you when you're in your computer or driving your car because it keeps your hand warm but your fingers free to move so this is very nice thank you very much and I will seeing you soon